Ladies and gentlemen, it's Aaron. Woo! Hi, guys. How's it going? So, you got voted out, and you're the first member of the jury. Congratulations. Thanks. Why Am I you, the queen of the jury? You are the queen of the jury. Why do you think that you are sitting here tonight and not still in the game? Basically, I'm out because it's... I don't know. I guess people thought I was shady, which is kind of weird because... I mean, I know I was playing both sides, but I made my allegiance pretty clear throughout the entire game. But it just came down to Daniel's side keeps winning. All of my allies were taken out one by one by one by one. To the point to where I was down to literally only Adam and Eric. I mean, with the punishments going on, I knew that was a big risk when I was taking them. But I was hoping Scott would have went home last round. And I think a big part of what my downfall was, I should have went after Hugo this round um, instead of Scott. The only problem with that is that all of my allies was like, no, Scott needs to go. Because Hugo has all those punishments, so he's basically a potato. Do you think if you would have targeted Hugo, it would be a different story and Hugo would be sitting here? Yeah, I think if I would have approached Dane... Well, see, the main main problem is me trying to save Aaron last round basically lost trust with Daniel. Um, up until that point, I know he was kind of suspicious of me, but I think he, he partially wanted to work with me. Um, so... I can't guarantee that me saying I wanted Hugo out would have would have worked because I think in the end Mike wanted me out no matter what and I'm pretty sure Mike and Daniel are close even though they said they aren't. Yeah, I mean it's not looking good for my allies. Adam is close to Ella, so that will hopefully help him. But I think Eric's Eric's pretty screwed unless he pulls off a comp win. I think the game started. You got yourself into an alliance early on with Taylor, uh, and that became a little bit of a showmance, I guess. Is it yeah. is it a relationship? Is it a showmance? I mean, yeah, it started out as kind of a joke, to be honest. Um, I came into this game, and when I saw her, like, I knew her beforehand, and I knew she was really attractive, but, like, I told myself, don't get involved with her. Like, you can get involved with the other people, other girls in the house, but she's gonna hurt you in this game. Um... But that didn't end up mattering because we kind of, I guess, well, now we're officially dating. Um, we've been dating for a good month now. So, um, yeah, I mean, I have no doubts or no uh, regrets in what happened with me and her. And she honestly made the game a lot more enjoyable for me. And you had your finger in everyone's cookie jar. Do you think that helped you in this game or do you think that hindered you? I think it helped a lot. Um, the only part that it hurt was the fact that no one really knows how to keep their mouth shut in this game. Big uh, example is when we tried to save Quentin and I kind of talked to Stephanie about it, immediately Hugo found out because she was apparently really connected to Hugo at that point. That hurt my connection with Hugo and kind of got people to start seeing me as an actual player. Um, and then all this stuff with Daniel going on because Daniel's connected to Mike, who's connected to Ella, who's connected to Adam. So when they find out that I was playing both sides there... No one really knew who my actual side was, I guess. And that's what I think kind of screwed me over was that even though I tried to make it clear that I was obviously with like Aaron and Taylor and Eric, and I've even let Adam know he was I was with him. Mike and Daniel saw that as shady because they thought I was being shady when really I just wasn't loyal to them. Now, you have a jury spot. What are you going to base your vote on? Well, I want to base it off of who deserves it, obviously. If I had to like power rank it... Um, I think Daniel's number one, Stephanie's number two, Eric's number three, and then Adam and then Mike. So what was your favorite moment in the game? That'd be corny, like Taylor and say her. My favorite moment obviously was Taylor and was meeting her and getting to kind of form that relationship with her. But it really was with everybody. Um, there's a lot of people in this game that I hope to keep contact with outside the game. Um, I really like Adam. I really like Eric. I really like Aaron. I guess just the non-game parts was fun. Not saying the game was not fun, because the game was amazing. I love this game, but the people in it sometimes just made me want to shoot myself. That concludes our interview, and welcome to the jury house. Yeah, as as, jur as reigning jury king, though, I mean, you're going to have to welcome all these people. Oh, great.